In this video, I'm going to show you how to add text on your CapCut video using the PC version of CapCut. So, it's pretty helpful for both platforms Windows and Mac. So, the first step is just to import our video and drag it on our timeline. So, what if we want to add some captions or something like this? There are a lot of options, just follow this step I do. So, the first step is just go to text area right up here if you want to add some default text you can just go to add text go to default and then drag it on our timeline but there are options uh, to make it a little bit more beautiful all you need is just to go to effects and try to find the necessary one there are a lot of them multicolor yellow red blue and others so if you want to find some specific text style you need to go right up here there are also a lot of different animated text text templates or something like that so you can of course go and try to find something here but today i want to show you the options of the default text so here you can see we already added it right up here so to change the text we need to go to text settings go to basic and then go to this area and just to input it so the next option we can change the font just need to download it it and now it looks like this we can change the font size we can change the style make it bold underlined or like this we can change the color we can change the preset style if you want but i want to do it so we can also add some spacing between our letters for example like this but i don't want to do this we can also change the alignment if we have a few words or a few lines we can also change the position and the size and that's the other feature if you want to make your text uh, move or something like this for example from this corner to this corner it could be very easy if you can use the keyframes so the first step we need to do is just to find the first location and move it right up here then go to position and size menu and add the keyframe by clicking right up here the next step we need to do is just to move our timeline uh, tracker to the last position or to the mid position and to move our text to the next position so as you can see the keyframe was added so now our uh, text looks like that so as you can see it automatically moves I think it could be helpful sometimes and the next step we can change the opacity to make it disappear or to make it like half opacity or something like this it could be also useful sometimes we can also add this stroke change the color for example for this one it works look very good change the thickness and we can also add the background if you want but I won't do this we can also add the shadow you cannot see it but it appeared like this and some other options of the shadow change the angle so as you can see it changed go to bubbles we can add some some effects like this it doesn't look very good and some other options in the effects change the style of the text so guys i hope this video was useful for you if it is please 
like this video, subscribe to my channel and write your comment. Goodbye.